Lee Jansen here, General Manager at Daisu Designer Homes. Uh, today's topic is about water tanks and, uh, and on-site water storage. So the last couple of decades in Australia has been various periods of drought in different parts of the country at different times. But as that's happened, um, different councils and, and different local governments or state governments have brought in uh, the requirement to have an on-site water tank. So when you build a new home, a certain lead, amount of litres uh, per tank has to be on site when you build. In the Queensland, for example, it was 5,000 litres for a long time in southeast Queensland. Now some have been and gone, so the important thing when you're building a new home is to check the, uh, your local council's website um, or your state government website, and that should tell you uh, what you need to put on site, if anything, in terms of a water tank. Um, that'll also tell you how you need to plumb that, or if you need to, to the new home. So in some areas, um, it's okay just to use it for water for washing the car or watering the garden. Um, in other areas, they might want to see you plumb that to a toilet or a washing machine. Um, and in other areas, you don't need them at all. So it's important to know so you can factor it into the budgeting right at the start um, and, and obviously make an allowance for where that water tank is going to go.